Hey there! As the economic landscape shifts and uncertainty looms how can you not only survive but thrive? Today we explore this. Economic downturns cast shadows on on dreams but these can become beacons of hope. We'll outline strategies to modify obstacles into opportunities. The focus, financial handling, adaptability, and resilience will help you transition into victories. Are you ready? Join me as we explore practical step steps to not only weather the storm, but to harness its power for growth and prosperity. Moving on to our first strategy, let's delve into the concepts of building an emergency fund and reducing expenses. An emergency fund is a financial safeguard, a buffer that protects you during financial turbulence. Start constructing this safeguard by considering saving as a dedicate a portion of your monthly income to this fund, however small. Next, let's discuss the 50-30-20 rule for savings. Allocate 50% of your income for necessities, 30% for desires, and 20% for your emergency fund. Automate the process with a fixed deposit into your savings account, leveraging the power of compound interest. Now focus on reducing expenses. It's intelligent decisions, not deprivation. Consider cost-effective cost-effective alternatives like a, a cheaper phone plan or cooking more home meals. Contribute to financial stability. Take Mike's story. He lived paycheck to paycheck. He cultivated his fund and cut unnecessary expenses. His financial stability improved. Losing his job during a recession, he was still able to pay his bills thanks to his emergency fund. Remember, each penny saved is not merely a step towards financial security but giant leap towards financial independence. Building an emergency fund and reducing expenses may seem challenging, but it's the first step towards turning the tide in your favor during a recession. Having discussed the importance of building an emergency fund and cutting expenses, it's time to move on to our next strategy, making smart investments and financial decisions. This strategy tool for weathering economic downturns. Your money should always be working for you. Investing isn't a get-rich-quick scheme, it's a long-term plan. Be stocks, real estate, or small businesses. Patience and informed choices are key. Even during recessions, unique investment opportunities may surface. Consider the stock market. Recessions often cause stock prices to dip, enabling you to buy shares at a more affordable rate. With patience and research these shares could grow in value post-recession. The same applies to real estate, where property prices drop, making it a good time to invest. However, be cautious with your investments. Understand the inherent risks and don't risk more you can afford to lose. Also, make savvy financial decisions, such, such as consolidating debt, refinancing your mortgage, or negotiating lower interest interest rates on credit cards. Remember, every financial decision impacts your overall financial health. The goal is just to weather a recession but to emerge financially stronger. So, make intelligent investments and take calculated financial decisions to grow your wealth, even in a recession's face. Before we delve into our next strategy we want to take a moment to engage with our YouTube community. If you're finding our content valuable, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. We aim to guide you through financial difficulties like recessions. Your support means a lot to us. Smash the like button, share and drop a comment on your key takeaways. Now let's continue our journey to financial resilience by diving into our next strategy, which involves investing wisely and seizing market opportunities. Stay tuned! Next we delve into investing wisely and taking advantage of market opportunities. Investing during a recession might seem scary but with a keen strategy, it can boost your wealth. Wise investing is about understanding your financial standing and risk tolerance. It's not about taking large risks, but selecting options align with your long-term financial goals. Consider Mark's story. Amid the 2008 recession, he saw potential in undervalued companies with strong recovery prospects. He invested wisely and patiently waited. Today, Mark's portfolio has grown significantly, not through luck, but by understanding market and making informed choices. This is the essence of smart investing during a recession. Remember, a recession can reveal hidden opportunities, it's how you navigate these times that matters. So invest wisely, seize opportunities and watch your wealth grow. Now let's focus on the power of networking and building strong relationships. In challenging economic times, your relationships often bolster your financial worth. Networking isn't just about attending events, it's about fostering genuine connections that span across industries. Consider Lisa, a small business owner impacted by a recession. Instead of surrendering she leaned on on her network, sharing her struggles and asking for advice. Her network responded with support and opportunities helped her business survive the recession. 
Then Tom, a graphic designer who lost his job during the recession, turned to his network. He communicated his situation and showcased his portfolio to contacts. One was impressed and referred him to a company needing a freelance designer. Tom secured job and now thrives as a freelancer. These narratives underscore the value of networking and building alliances. A recession can be can be intimidating but your network your lifeline providing support and opportunities might not otherwise discover. After all it's often more about who you know than what you, thus, reach out, create new bonds and enhance your network. It might just be the key to weathering the recession and emerging stronger on the other side. Finally, let's talk about embracing innovation and adaptability. In challenging times, adaptability is your greatest asset. It's about flexibility and an open mind. When the financial climate changes, those who adapt, thrive. Consider consider a small bookstore hit by recession. Instead, instead of panicking, they innovated, introducing online creating digital content and even organizing virtual events. This strategy expanded their audience. Now, consider a fitness trainer who lost her clients when gyms closed. She adapted, started online classes, designed home workout workout routines, and began a fitness blog. Her business survived and flourished, serving a wider audience. Innovation and adaptability make a difference during any recession. It's about finding opportunities and transforming difficulties into victories. The more adaptable and innovative you are, the better you'll weather any financial storm. So, stay flexible, stay creative, and most importantly, stay open to change. Now let's talk about diversifying income streams and exploring new. It's akin to planting diverse seeds in a garden. Some flourish, others might not. But the more seeds you plant, the higher the chances of plentiful harvest. In economic downturns, income diversification can be a financial lifeline. This could entail launching a side business, investing in stocks or real estate, or monetizing a hobby. The charm of income diversification is, it provides financial stability, and paves the way for personal growth unique experiences. Consider story. A full-time office employee, Jane adored baking. When the recession struck she began selling homemade to kin and friends. Gradually, her side hustle evolved into a profitable online business. Jane didn't merely survive the recession, she thrived, transforming a hobby into a lucrative venture. Recessions often hide opportunities in unlikely places. Companies might be hiring contract workers. There could be a sudden demand for specific goods or services, or perhaps there's a market niche you can fill. The key is to remain curious, stay adaptable, and seize opportunities as they present themselves. Remember, a recession may seem daunting but it can also be a time of incredible growth and transformation. So, keep your eyes open for new opportunities and don't be afraid to diversify your income. Now, let's focus on the power of networking and building strong relationships. During economic downturns, the power of connections is paramount. Imagine a casual meeting at a networking event leading to a rewarding partnership, or a former colleague tipping you about a perfect job opportunity. These scenarios exemplify the potential of networking and relationship building. In difficult times, your network can be your lifeline. After all, it's not about what you know, but who you know. As we wrap up, let's revisit the key strategies we've discussed today. Building an emergency fund, cutting expenses, diversifying income, and seeking opportunities are crucial. Smart investing, networking, and embracing innovation provide resilience during a recession. A bonus strategy is continuous learning. It's your greatest asset in tough economic times, enabling you to adapt and innovate. Remember, the right strategies and mindset can help you thrive during a recession. Keep these strategies close and let them guide your journey towards financial resilience. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and sticking with us through this journey. We hope our strategies assist you in financial crises. If this video was useful, hit like. Sharing widens our reach and multiplies knowledge. Subscribe to our channel for more valuable videos. Your support motivates us to produce quality content. Thank you for your time and we can't wait to see you in our next video. Until then, stay financially savvy.